Hey everyone, so today we're going to look over an important piece of um, maintenance for your boat. You can go to your boat and assess the steering on it. And if your motor shakes like this left and right without your steering wheel moving, there's a problem. I have a C-Star hydraulic steering system on my boat. And when you have play like that in your hydraulic steering system, that means you have air bubbles. Air bubbles can be very dangerous when operating at high speeds when you're out there on the water. When you eliminate the air bubbles, you eliminate the play in the engine and that'll result in safer handling of the boat and more effective handling of the boat. I'm gonna show you how to get those air bubbles out today. So I have with me today, Sea Star hydraulic steering fluid. We got it from West Marine. We ordered the uh, Sea Star bleeder, um, what is it, bleeder kit pretty much. This will help you get the air bubbles out of your system. I'm gonna set this up on the boat here pretty soon and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so before you attach your cables, you're going to want to get a wrench around this fitting and this fitting. You want to loosen them just enough to where a tiny bit of hydraulic steering fluid seeps out of them. As soon as it seeps out of them, put your cables over it so you don't lose all your fluid and then you'll be ready to bleed and purge your system. Okay, we're going to put this hose on here. That's going to lock in the fluid you just push them on there they should click right on and there you go that's going to circulate your fluid and get all the air air bubbles out and stuff like that you'll be able to see your air bubbles whenever you turn this left and right so we're gonna get this thing screwed on here and then get down to business if i can get the thread started no. so you get your c star hydraulic steering fluid it should have a fitting on there. It should screw right onto it. See, look at that. You spin your wheel left and right and you'll see all these air bubbles escaping. Yep. Make sure you pop a hole in the top just so you have that uh, ability to let the air escape out of the tubes. And then you just go left and right all the way over on the engine, all the way over to one side Look at the air bubbles coming out. Look at them all go. Then you go all the way left. There goes some more air bubbles. get spinning it's like butter now and as you can see I can steer this thing with one finger no problem it's super responsive and ready to go I can take this thing out on the water with no worries okay so earlier in the video I showed you how much play was in my engine I had at least two or three inches of just straight up play in the engine and the steering wheel wouldn't even move I could come back here and rock it back and forth like nothing now look, now that I've gotten all the air bubbles out, watch this. Look at that, tight. How do you like that? Pretty cool, huh? So that's pretty much what your steering does. I'm gonna feel way safer out there running at high speeds, dipping the curves, running through the creeks and the rivers, and making my way to the fish. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the content.